Hello comrades and welcome back to Steve on Steve. <laughs> I bet you thought I was dead, but um, I'm not. I'm, I'm still alive. But yeah, moving swiftly on. Man, the guns came out a few days ago. Well, I mean, two weeks ago now. Yeah, I know. And uh, yeah, I've just taken a bit of time to familiarize myself with it because there's a lot of new changes and a lot of them are quite good and interesting. And uh, yes, without talking any longer than I have to, let's get right into it. And we will be playing as, of course, Mexico. I know it's been done to death already at this point, but whatever. I want to check it out, I want to try it out, and I want to build socialism in Central America and probably the rest of the Americas too, if things go well. Hopefully. Okay, so we're in, and let's see. So Mexico starts in a very difficult position in this game. Um, we start with a useless leader, and we start with a bunch of problems. We have Caistas, uh, which gives us minus 20% political power gain and a minus 10% construction speed. It's pretty bad. The supporters of the of Caes are enriching themselves and abusing their power. Appointed for loyalty rather than ability, they perpetuate a patronage system which corrupts every office and rank in the country. Unless they're reined in, ordinary Mexicans would continue to deride our ruling government as Revolucionarios, Robo revolucionarios. There we go. Robber revolutionaries. That's pretty shit. Weak church. Okay. Factory output plus ten percent. That's pretty good. The Constitution of 1917 requires measures aimed against the influence of the Catholic Church. That's pretty good. The Cristeros rebelled in the 20s because of attempts to enforce those laws, but the people may now be ready for a secular state. Great. Oil concessions, which isn't great. It basically means our oil is owned by a bunch of other countries. Politicized army, military leader cost plus 100%, planning speed minus 20%, that's pretty bad. The rulers of Mexico have been drawn from revolutionary army officers for almost three decades. The turbulent times we went through demanded firm leadership. The question is, has the turbulence passed or is it becoming more severe? Yeah. And caudillo tensions moderate. I'm sorry, my Spanish isn't great. So stability minus 5%. General Saturnino, ca sed wait, what? Caudillo or Cedillo? Cedillo, I guess. And, and the Caudillos, okay, aligned to him are jealously guarding their influence. We may have to act against them. So, we started with a decision that in 150 days it will be a rebellion. I don't know how to prevent it from happening, right? Because there's a focus that gets us to, allows us to arrest General Cedillo, but that takes 140, 175, that takes like 210 days, right? So we can't do it? with the focuses, so I'm not sure if there's literally any way to avoid the Caudillo Rebellion. So, I mean, <laughs> if you have any ideas you can leave that in the comments below, but meanwhile we're just gonna set up all of the other stuff, so I guess we will go for arresting him anyway, because that just removes that entire malice, I guess? It removes that problem with stability. So I, I'm, we're gonna go communist, right? So I think I'm gonna kind of bomb down towards the red shirts, although maybe it's better to go for National Bank and Confederation of Mexican Workers, because that actually lets you pick an advisor which increases communism support. So that's only what? That's 70... that's only 140 days in terms of focuses, that's pretty good. And I think after that we're gonna do the red shirts, and then we'll take out Cedillo. Because I think there's no way to prevent this rebellion. So let's just go for that, National Bank, let's go. Um, in terms of events, we're going to turn off all these useless ones, because, you know, Paradox tried to make a bunch of nice events, and a lot of them are still completely useless. Um, and yeah, there's a bunch of church stuff, which I still don't really fully understand how, to, how it works. So this will only take into effect if I actually go down the Catholic path. Nationalize church lands, that might be cool eventually. Uh, pardon some fighter, yeah, we're not going to do Catholic stuff. Assassinate someone, which just gives us more war support and army experience, which is nice. Public mass, that won't be happening. Prosecute a clergyman, that might happen. And this is later stuff. So that's all taken care of, and research, we only have two research slots, and we don't have 1936 infantry equipment, which is whack. So we're gonna research that, obviously. We also don't have any planes that are normal, which sucks, but we have no industrial base to focus on planes at the moment, so... It's gonna have to be... construction. Yeah, just to offset that massive uh, minus we start with. Anyway, let's reorganize our army. We have we start with a decent amount of troops, but they're all useless and no equipment. And we have actually we start with decent manpower for a country in the kind of crisis that we find ourselves in. 
You know, you look at other countries like Hungary, for example, that are riddled with problems, and they have no manpower, which is bad for them. But as Mexico, we enjoy that we basically, if we're careful, we will always have enough manpower, which is really good. Let's put them on the border with Guatemala, because we're going to want to take them out pretty soon. And, um, yeah, we can begin our war. I mean, our life, I guess, as Mexico. Also, obviously, we don't have any resources, so we're going to trade with the Soviet Union. Because, you know, communism. And that's us set up. Yeah, nice. Right, so that now we've actually gotten the Confederation of Mexican Workers. We've got a bunch of political power. And we can finally select Vincente Lombardo. <laughs> oh god, that was terrible, I'm sorry. Um, an ambitious union boss, which means that we get plus 10 communist support and also minus 5 consumer goods factories. That's actually really good. So yes, let's do that and slowly our communism support will start taking up. And to help that, I'm gonna go to grab that, but first I'm gonna grab a new research slot because, well, you know, we only have two and that's just, it won't do at all, will it now? Also, I'm exercising my navy because that grants you just absurd amounts of naval experience. So hopefully they'll be able to design like some nice destroyer and maybe pump a few of those out because obviously we don't have any dockyards at the moment. So, um, yeah, Comrade Trotsky is back and you know what we're gonna do obviously. So, exiled from the Soviet Union for opposing the rise of Stalin, blamed for manner of problems from military setbacks to industrial accidents and driven from country to country by political pressure. Leon Trotsky, communist revolutionary and author, has arrived in Mexico after a voyage from Norway on an oil tanker. We aren't Stalin's puppets, so give him asylum. Okay. Mm -hmm. Extradite him to the Soviet Union to face trial for his crimes. I want to click that so badly, just for my own personal roleplay purposes. Or, he's an organizational genius. Invite him to join the government. And of course we're gonna do that, right? So. Now, in the bottom left here, we can make Leon Trotsky our Red Army Organizer, which makes our divisions a lot more organized, but also gives us plus in communist support, which is really cool. So responsible for creating the Red Army almost from scratch during the Russian Civil War, this International Communist League leader will help organize the army. Wonderful. Uh, right, so I didn't actually stop this Sedio guy in time, and he's re rebelled. This is the first time this has happened, and he hasn't taken any of my navy, which is awesome. He has taken a few of my divisions, but, like, whatever, that's fine, that can always be recovered. But the navy is cool that he didn't take any of it, so let's try to deal with that nice and quick. Oh yeah, we do have an air force, it's like 20 planes, yeah, 30, 36 planes, wonderful. I mean, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Ah, so an Archbishop has passed away. The Most Reverend Pascual Diaz y Barreto, Archbishop of Mexico City, has passed away due to colitis. Um, requiescat in pace. Pace? Pace. Or, burn in hell, traitor. I mean, of course, you know I had to do it to him. Okay, that was very brief, and hopefully it won't happen again, although I have no way of knowing that, because there's like a, like 40 different civil wars I can fire in Mexico. But let's hope not. Um, anyway, we lost only like six... Yeah, f only... Wait, we only lost like two divisions. So, that's fine, we're good. And we didn't lose any of our navy, which is wonderful. And also, now that we have 40% communist support, we can do communist revolution, <laughs> finally. Are you guys ready? It's about to happen, boys. And, okay, no, I don't, okay. Yeah, I don't, no, I don't care. Communist revolution, and would you look at that? Leon Trotsky, exiled revolutionary. Subversive activities cost minus 50%. Ideology drift defense plus 30%. I'm kind of annoyed, well, I don't know, not annoyed, but I guess I'm a bit disappointed that they used the same portrait as they did in the Soviet Union one. I wish it would be something cooler. And also the flag. Mexican Soviet Republic is just Mexico, but yellow on a red background, and that's pretty shit. But Mexican Soviet Republic, would you look at that? Now our world conquest can truly begin. Let's start declaring war on Guatemala. And uh, international struggle... Revolutionary class war is actually really good because halves are just fine time. So we're gonna go for that and hopefully be able to blitz through South America, or at least Central America, and then hopefully into South America. And as we grab a few of these countries, we'll get some dockyards, which will help us somewhat build up our navy. And the plan of action is to take out these countries and then try to take Venezuela, because 
you know, they're fascist and they have a ton of oil. So that would be really good for us. Also Cuba. I want to take out Cuba because they have a ton of chromium, which is wonderful. So, yeah, if we want to build tanks, and we want to build tanks if we want to take on America, or literally any build country, actually. <laughs> Leon Trotsky brings revolution to Guatemala. He's already <laughs> fast at work. It's October 1937. Leon Trotsky's already spreading the revolution from Mexico. So, um, yeah. Another civil war that I guess is just unavoidable, right? Religious insurrection and our attacks on the treacherous church have evidently not been carried out with enough vigor. What do you mean? I murdered them every chance. Although, triumph over the Cristeros. I was just doing that. Fuck. Maybe I should have completed that before. Well, too late, I guess. Another civil war is tearing Mexico apart. And fuck, I lost all my navy. Oh, at least I didn't lose the big boat, even though it's useless. Oh, that's actually worse than I had it like. Okay. Jesus. Oh my god. They're led by Jesus. The Christians are led by Catholic Mexico is led by Jesus. And they have Jesus in their flag. This is incredible. Oh, wow. And, I mean, Jesus is just a shadow now, but... Wow. Okay. And they outnumber us in terms of units. This is bad. We might lose this war. Um, this is very bad, actually. I did not expect to have another civil war that was this strong. But okay, I guess we'll just have to deal with it. They have three of their armies here, so hopefully we can deal with them. The second Cristiada, the forces of the church and revolution have once again come into conflict in Mexico. But like, the thing is, if you are in favor of the Catholics, right, and you support them, you still get a civil war because then the atheists rise up. So I guess there's just no way to avoid a civil war, which is kind of annoying. But yes, we're going to try to take care of the, the guys in the south first, obviously, because they're separated from the rest. And then we go and mop up the north, as we did in the last time, actually. So this should be okay. Yeah, we're doing good. It's pretty annoying, but whatever. Hopefully we'll be able to recover from it. So the war is actually going pretty okay, even though the, like, the Catholic Jesus Mexico has volunteers from Germany and Italy, which is kind of shit. At least they didn't send any tanks. But also, we can now go into full Leon Trotsky, full war communism, permanent revolution mode. We got more economy in 1938. We are about to go pretty hard on some people. But yes, I think this is a good time to leave it here. Um, and this will, I'm probably going to use this for my thumbnail, something like Antichrist Mexico or something like that. Or Leon Trotsky destroys Jesus. Oh my god, that's terrible. <laughs> but yes, uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I know I haven't posted anything for a long time, but I'm back and hopefully I'll be making more videos. I'm, I feel like I'm in the vibe again. I've had a pretty tough time, but things should get better now. And yes, please join my Discord, because we have fun there. And obviously post any comments or recommendations in the comments below. I would love that. I love to hear them. I love to talk to you guys. Hit that subscribe button and please hit the notification bell as well for some more of this sexy content. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.